put that coffee down. 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 And I had a look last month. I had a look in our PL. Last month, we lost $23,000 in our foreign currency losses. Because of and that and, w- and what that is in, in, in like bookkeeping speak is the difference in the foreign exchange rate of when you sent the invoice to when you got paid. Mm. And in that eight to ten day period, we lost twenty three grand. Wow. Just in the fluctuations of the yeah. prices. Because yeah. we, we sent it at that day, it was paid on that day, and that money had it changed. changed. And the month before it was like an increase of eleven grand. Mm. So it's really odd, man. It's a very peculiar time in terms of running a business. Man, I remember back in, like, I think it was 2011. Yeah. Uh, we overtook them. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. For, like, a little while. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when uh, I got married in the States then. And so we're killing it. <laughs> oh, mate. We are like, rich. <laughs> Lining bought a car. Dropped tw- why not? Dropped 23 grand on a Mustang. Just, like, why not? It's the cheapest I'll ever have the opportunity to buy this car. Yeah, bought yeah. it back and sold it pretty much straight away because it was the... Like cheapest opportunity had to do it. Amazing. Um, but I remember those ODA guys coming out and were on exchange at the time. Yeah. And they were in For the, the people in the camera, ODA. Yeah, it's a different special forces unit that exchanges with ours or our former unit. Um, and so they were they were hurting, man. Like because oh, yeah. they're getting paid in US dollars, <laughs> but they're in Australia for six months or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah. Worth less. They were. I think that we got to like a dollar ten or something like yeah. that. Yeah, I remember. Um, I went over to New Zealand once. When it was like the New Zealand dollar had tanked and it was like double. Mm. And I went, I remember this is years ago, I bought a pair of Oakleys and it was like 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is happening? I was just in the, I was just in the airport cause I wasn't go, I was going to New Zealand to go somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, this is, did the car, I was like, for you, buy that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. So, but it, it you know, and it, it's nothing I never really thought about. But then when I have a look at like our P and L's and I'm like, fuck man, like we might need to get someone to hedge our money. Mm. Like, yeah. So explain that to me. What can be done about that? So, well, first of all, you can try and reduce your cash flow cycle, right? So what we've put in place is a meeting. So we're getting paid no more than seven days after invoicing. Okay. Um, you can lock rates as well. You can like lock a rate at, at the day of invoice. And mm-hmm. you have to get approval for that from the, 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 you know, if you're the vendor from the person that you're sending invoice to, but you can lock rates to kind of uh, stop the manipulation of markets because like a good business would hedge. Yeah. So you'd have a CFO that would go pay them now like yeah. that, right? To, to give yourself the best chance. Um, but you can also employ companies to hedge your money. So instead of it being paid to you, it get, all their money gets paid to them. Mm-hmm. They act as like a suspense account. And then then they, they hold your money. You have to have a good amount of cash to be able to do it. Yeah. Because you might be four or five days out. They'll hold your money and then they'll transfer all of your money at once on the greatest possible day. Mm-hmm. And then they take a clip of what they make you. Mm-hmm. And their job is to make you money on all. Hey guys, you just saw a podcast snippet. I'm excited for you. So we have a new one that comes out every single week. Go to your favorite podcasting location and make sure you check out the new episode every single week. I'm dropping on a Thursday.